Hey, hey, it's Beth Ann, and I'm back with another Convert Kit tutorial video. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create sequences inside Convert Kit. So, a sequence just means when people are on this sequence, they've signed up for it, or you've automatically added to it with a handy dandy cool tool inside Convert Kit, they're going to get some automated emails without you having to lift a finger. So, let's take a look at a sequence that I've already done how to make sales with Pinterest. So, it's a third 13 day sequence, it has I think nine emails. I get to decide when the first email will be sent out. So for me, I wanted them to get the first lesson like right away. So I wanted to kind of give them an introduction and say hello right away. And then they get day one the next day, day two, one day after that. So see, you can customize any any distance that you want. You can customize the time right in here. You can choose to like stop your sequences on Saturdays and Sundays. So let's say even if the sequence goes one day, one day, one day, one day, it'll just pick right back up on the Monday. If you're just like, yeah, I don't want to send emails on the weekend. You can also say, hey, exclude these subscribers. So even though maybe someone signed up for a little course or they supposedly were automatically added to this sequence from somewhere else, um, in my case, I would want to do, so we have a tag selected, our brilliant pin promotion customers, because at the end of this sequence, I tell people, hey, here's my um, course that you can purchase if you want. And so I don't want my current customers to be getting a pitch from me because that's annoying. So <laughs> there we go. Can duplicate it, delete the sequence. Ooh, don't do that. Um, but yeah, it's really cool how you can customize it. But over here too, you can see some really detailed reports. So it tells me my total subscribers. And look at that, they make it super easy. Download a CSV of, of those subscribers. Here's my unsubscribes, my open rate. So that feels great, 45% opening, and then 3.2% clicking. So eh, that part, not so great. So hmm, something needs to change to get more people to click after they open. Although some of my emails are just lessons and it's all in the email and there's nothing for them to click on. So I guess that's okay. But anyways, I can see by email, what's the open rate, the click rate, how many sends have I had? So I can see where people are at in the sequence. So, you know, so far I've only had about 175 total people go through all of my emails in this sequence. And then I've just got, you know, a handful of unsubscribes at different points. That's kind of nice too. I can see it's not like there's one email that just totally turned everybody off and they said, that's it. I'm done. I can't stand your emails. Get out of my inbox now. So anyways, that's good. There doesn't seem to be a glaring, annoying, horrible email like that. So woohoo. Um, and I can see here, so yeah, so the click rate is higher when this is when I first introduce my course to them and I give them a sneak peek. So that's a pretty good click rate, I'd say. So I'm happy with that. And yeah, I can kind of see, does my open rate, like how does that compare? This is okay because I haven't sent this just a few days left to snag it for a good price. I haven't sent that email to everyone. I only sent it at the end of a given month when I ran a, a promotion. So feel okay about that. And this is a good open rate here. So yeah, the open rates are holding steady all along this sequence. So just another good stat to be aware of. But let's head back over to the content because that's that's the most important part, right? That's the meat of our sequence. That's where you get to write out your heart and soul and teach people cool stuff and let them get to know you and ultimately perhaps introduce them to a product or something awesome that you have to offer, maybe an affiliate type of thing or whatever the case may be for you. But let's, um, so you, just so you can see, like, I, I feel like email sequences or, you know, coming out with your free course, it feels so overwhelming, but it truly is as simple as setting up a sequence. Let's go back and let's create a new sequence. Let's use my welcome email sequence because I really should have something here. This is so bad that I don't. I should have a whole series for people. What's really cool though too is ConvertKit gives you some suggestions. They're like, hey, why don't you send an educational message? Give them a tip, a quick win, something they can implement two days after that first email that you sent. Then maybe an educational message plus maybe hint at your product maybe two days after that. Then do a soft sell after 
four days after that, then some more teaching five days after that, then a hard sell education. So anyways, it's just like they kind of just give you a nice little outline. But but all that to say, do what feels right to you. Do what seems like the best the best fit, depending on what you're doing. I know for me with my free Pinterest course, I wanted them to get a lesson a day for five days. So that might feel like a lot, but I know if somebody is eager to learn how to make sales on Pinterest, they don't wanna wait two weeks to get all the information they want it now. Let's start with our second message, which right now is totally in draft. There is nothing here. What do I wanna say to people? Okay, that's like a terrible subject line. But I love how ConvertKit too, they're super friendly. They're like, just focus on being incredibly useful, which is super nice. So, you know, they just kind of like give you some encouragement. So this is where I just kind of on the fly decided like, you know what? I really want every brilliant business mom to know how important list building is because it's been incredible for my business. Um, I was mentioning just on a webinar the other week that I've noticed that I get about a dollar of sales income every month per email subscriber. So back when we had two to 3,000 subscribers on our list, we made two to 3,000 in income per month. And now that I'm over 20,000 subscribers, I just had my first month of 20,000 of income. And so it's been really cool to see that progression. Um, and yeah, I just think a lot of business owners take it for granted. So anyways, I just decided like, yeah, let's make that my intro. Let's teach people how to build their list and let's add some value there. And plus, I've got that great freebie on email opt-in offers. So at some point, I can introduce that fabulous freebie, which will be really cool after I give you know my new subscribers some lessons. Then I can be like, hey, by the way, grab this free thing, and that'll kind of be a fun surprise. So anyways, it's not that hard. It's really as simple as, you know, what do you want to teach your audience? What do you maybe ultimately want to sell to them? And then how can you just build conversations around that? And you know, the one tip I would give you is break things down. Don't make any one email super long and involved and overwhelming. And I gotta be honest, even my Pinterest sequence, I feel like I could break it down a little bit more. It's really, really hard when you feel like there's a lot you wanna teach, but truly just break it down more. And you know, if every little bit of information you give has like, um, let's say an action step, you know, something they can walk away with and go do and have a quick win, then you better believe that person is going to come back the next time and open your next email because they want that next quick win. So think about that in terms of your email sequence. What can you teach? What quick wins can you give? How can you give a little nugget that makes them have a spring in their step for their day? And how can you kind of show them down the road maybe that there's a certain solution you have to their problem that they might want. So that would be, you know, introducing your product. So part of introducing a product to people is they first have to understand that they need it. And an email sequence can be so perfect for that where you really show them, you know, let's say for example, um, you make handmade purses. So I want to, I want you to think about what kind of sequence could you give your subscribers that one is going to show your personality Two, they get to know you, they build a relationship with you. You don't feel like some random brand. You feel like a friend. And then three, how do you show them that they really, really do need your awesome handmade purse, right? And you can show them that. Okay, let's take an example. So let's say your handmade purses, you actually do like laptop top bags and they're durable and they have extra pockets and that was something that you wanted in a laptop top bag that you couldn't find. So a sequence there might be about, you know, organizing your workflow or getting things done at work and then you slowly kind of introduce why being really organized is so helpful and da 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 here's my laptop bag that can solve that problem for you or da 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 here's my laptop bag that's you know it's super durable you're never gonna be in that catastrophic moment where you're on the subway and your bag strap just breaks and all your stuff falls everywhere and your laptop breaks and you're out two grand because you need to get a new laptop is that what laptops cost i have no idea that's probably terrible of me to not know um but anyways just to kind of show you that sequences aren't just for those of us who have a course or an info product like sequences are for every type of business um let's take baby clothes another example so 
well, what is your brand about? Are you mostly just like an encouraging soft place for moms to land? And so then you provide the baby clothes. So then you might just give these great little friendly, encouraging messages like, hey, you've got this. Like, hey, today is going to be great. Or I know this motherhood thing is so hard, but you should know I'm here for you. Write me back and tell me what your biggest struggle is and I'll... You know, I'm here to lend an ear or whatever you want to say. And then, you know, after you build that relationship, then you can introduce your products that totally fit that brand. Versus, let's say you sell baby toys. And so you want to show people, you know, developmental activities. Think about that that you could teach. And then, oh, by the way, here's my toy that solves this problem for you, which is finding um, feel good, developmentally appropriate and um activities that help your kids to grow okay so hopefully this is just a few ideas for you honestly i could go on and on and on about this but you should know that building your list and having a great email sequence is something that is for every business it does not discriminate it is good for every business okay so hopefully i've showed you that with this um let me see if there's anything else you need to know about sequences okay so after you write this and you say Ta-da! You are amazing! At the end of your email, then you're going to turn it to published, okay? And then after you do publish, you'll save all. But you can keep it in draft mode too and hit save all and then it's fine and it'll stay here. And you can drag these wherever you want, turn some on, keep some off while you're still working on them. So honestly, super cool. I know I did one sequence in MailChimp and it was like way more frustrating to set up so i found convert kit super easy so there you go that's what you need to know about sequences now it's your turn to seriously head out there and create an awesome sequence so your subscribers will love you so they'll get to know you so they'll know how you solve their problems so they'll know how you encourage them so they'll know why you are the best business ever for them to be supporting and to be part of and connected with and you will build your business and make a ton of amazing awesome friends as a result so there you go now it's your turn to head out there and be brilliant.